On November 27th, Syrian opposition forces launched a surprise offensive that reshaped the battlefield in northwest Syria. Within days, they captured strategic areas, but also seized advanced military equipment operated by Syrian regime forces and supplied by Russia. Among the captured assets were several T-90 and T-90A tanks, some of the most advanced Russian armored vehicles, and the highly sophisticated Podlet K-1 low-altitude surveillance radar system. The Podlet K-1 radar plays a critical role in Russia's air defense strategy, so its capture raises significant implications for the Syrian conflict and global military dynamics. So, in this video, we'll take a closer look at the Podlet K-1 radar system, exploring its specifications, capabilities, and its impact on both the conflict in Syria and the war in Ukraine. But if you're curious about the T-90 tanks too, make sure to subscribe to Defense Central, as we're working on a detailed review video about them coming soon. The Podlet K-1 radar is designed primarily for low-altitude surveillance, making it essential for detecting threats like drones, cruise missiles, and stealth aircraft that evade traditional high-altitude radar systems. Reportedly developed by the Russian defense company Almaz Ante, this system operates within the L-band frequency, which is particularly effective in low-altitude detection, as it allows for high-resolution imaging and distinguishes between genuine aerial threats and ground clutter. It has a detection range of up to 300 kilometers, enabling coverage over vast areas. The system's capability to identify objects flying as low as 10 meters above the ground provides critical coverage against threats designed to exploit radar blind spots. Phased array radar technology is at the core of the Podlet K-1's design ensuring it can track over 100 objects simultaneously, even in complex airspaces. This technology enhances the radar's resilience against electronic countermeasures, making it harder to jam or disrupt. It is also equipped to handle adverse environmental conditions, such as heavy rain or sandstorms, ensuring uninterrupted operation in a variety of terrains and climates. Mobility is another key feature of the Podlet K-1, Mounted on an 8x8 wheeled chassis, the radar can be rapidly redeployed to adapt to shifting battlefield conditions. This mobility makes it well suited for both static defense and dynamic military operations. Once deployed, the system integrates seamlessly with Russia's layered air defense networks. Working alongside platforms like the S-300 PMU-2 and S-400, it fills the critical gap of low-altitude detection complementing their long-range capabilities. The Podlet K-1 radar's role in air defense cannot be overstated. By providing early warning of incoming threats, it allows air defense systems to engage hostile aircraft, drones, and missiles before they reach their targets. In Syria, the system has played a significant role in protecting key installations from drone and missile strikes. The radar's capture during the recent Syrian opposition's offensive underscores its strategic value. Valued at approximately $5 million, the system was part of a Syrian regime military base before falling into rebel hands. The intact capture of such advanced technology opens the door for exploitation. Western intelligence agencies and NATO allies are likely to study its architecture, algorithms, and electronic warfare resilience, potentially gaining insights into how to counter it. This could undermine its effectiveness in future conflicts. Beyond Syria, the Podlet K-1 has seen extensive use in Ukraine too, where it has been deployed to detect and neutralize low-altitude threats like Ukrainian drones and cruise missiles. However, Ukrainian forces have managed to counter these systems effectively, reportedly destroying three units in 2023 alone. The loss of these radars has disrupted Russia's layered air defense strategy exposing vulnerabilities in its ability to counter aerial threats at low altitudes. The Podlet K-1's capture highlights the challenges of maintaining control over advanced military assets in volatile conflict zones. Its intact seizure provides an opportunity for adversaries or third parties to analyze its technology, 
potentially compromising its effectiveness in other regions where it is deployed. What are your thoughts on the Podlet K1 radar? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.